Okay, so <laughs> you're growing up in, in Oakland, and I guess Oakland you went to Utah, uh, that's right. Uh, you went to St. Joseph's High School. St. Joe's in Alameda. Yep. Boom, boom. You were 6'6 six, six in high school? 6'6. Six, 6'6. Six. Six, six. And uh, you started playing basketball, mm -hmm. but then you got cut in the 10th grade? I got cut by a punk ass coach, Mr. Phelps. You heard that from me, you're a punk ass. Look at me now. And I never liked him. He never liked me. I never told a story. He just, he was a, he was, he just, you know. He never liked me, and I never, you know, it was a trip. So he cut me in the 10th grade, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me because I found academics. And so okay. thank you, Mr. Phelps, for cutting me in the 10th grade, you punk ass. But I found academics because I was so, I was going to transfer to Fremont. I remember I, you know, Glenn Carraway and Vic Hampton. You know, I, I'm, I, I swear, I, was, I went, I remember I went up to Fremont and looked at it, looked around. I was different from St. Joe's, but I was going to come here. I said, fuck. Then I, but then my my beautiful English teacher, and, you know, and then uh, and and then I just got into academics. I said, well, boom, and I saw that I could do it, and that, that was great. Why would a coach cut someone who's six six in the tenth grade in high school? That doesn't make any sense well, he didn't on like any my, level. You know what? Let's let's get this out. This six never been six tough. in the tenth grade, like six six is rare as hell. You know period. what? He didn't like my brother, grade? and he didn't like me. Okay. First day of school. This is the first day of school at St. Joseph's. First day, little ghetto boy dressed. Mama got me dressed right. First day of school. First day. Homeroom. You had to say, first day. He said, da 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 da. Curry. You, your brother Gary? Be, uh, be on your P's and Q's here. Uh, something like that. Hmm. I, the first day, I was like, what the fuck? First day in homeroom. All right, you're a curry, watch yourself. I was like, this dude. Then I remember he locked me in the, it was a basketball game. First of all, everybody paid their little $20 to get Adidas, I think, high top Adidas, pro models, or, or Nikes or something, but he bought me Adidas. So everybody on the team had Nikes and I was the only one with Adidas. I'm like, motherfucker. And then he locks me in, he locks the door. This is true. They never told nobody. He locks the door. You know, when it, my shoes came late, of course, he kept them. And then he locked the door when I was in there trying them on. And so I couldn't get out. I remember that. I was like, this dude. So he was a punk ass bitch, Mr. Phelps. You know, that's never been told. But, you, you know, but I did pretty well. Do you think in retrospect, let's just say you had a coach that said, hey, this could be the next big basketball star. I'm really going to put a lot of extra focus on him, a lot of extra training. Do you think that you had the athletic ability to keep no, going no, with it? No, no, Or I you mean, were just really tall? I was a good ball player, you know, yeah. but, you know, those, some guys had better abilities than me, of okay. course. You know, I, I wasn't a professional. I wasn't nothing like that. But, you know, I, you know, I did Okay. My so, ambitions, you know, I saw guys that were 100% better than me. So I had no, you know, ambitions, but, but you know, still. That was memorable, right? Because a lot of a lot of big ball players came out of came yeah, out of Oakland. Yeah. A lot of Phil Barner, we had Lester Connors, we had J.R. Ryder, you know Gary Payton. Gary Payton was that around your time? GP? No, um, no. Gary was younger than me. Younger, yeah. I saw you know I saw Gary come on you know, Castle Mount. He Castle was the first. Mount. He was he was the first first you know player in the in. The enter the NBA draft with a Lord Jesus perm. For the perm. And that's a, in the history books. <laughs> the he history had a straight book. perm, Lord Jesus, straight down. Castle Mount. So you graduate high school mm -hmm. and you go to college. Yeah. Uh, I got California State University. I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah, Cal State Hayward. Cal State Hayward. I got I got into Cal State Hayward. Cal State Hayward. Doing the damn bus strike. I didn't have a car. Okay. Oh, my God. I had to get on the bus to go to Cal State Hayward. And at that point, while going to college, that's when comedy started to come around. Well, you know, it, it, it was, I was, comedy wasn't a viable art. You know, you didn't say I'm going to be the comedian. They didn't have comedians then. Well, you had Richard Pryor. Yeah, but it was, that was just like, you, you know, had Bill Frank Cosby. Sinatra. You know, <laughs> these are older dudes that you didn't aspire yeah. to be. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a, like it was now. Who, who was the young, hot comedian during that time? Because Eddie Murphy came a little Isn't later. That? 
was funny. Sinbad, Sinbad was, was the name. Yeah, Sinbad was the name. Um, as far as it was before Eddie Murphy, really just yeah. a bunch of you know Jimmy J J Walker was a big comedian at the mm -hmm. time. Um, you know, so okay. but it wasn't a viable like okay no. I can't I gotta get a real job. Right, I'm right. going to school to learn a trade to graduate and get a job right. and be a working man like my father. Right, right. That was my thing. But then comedy started happening. Yeah, comedy. Well, it, it happened like this. I was in Cal State Hayward doing well. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, and then my father kicked me out the house. <laughs> so I, <laughs> that that derailed the college thing because I had to go to work. So uh, while I was working, bam, you know, a guy Travis Curry who worked at Pay and Save in San Francisco one night, and I was the manager, and he was crazy. He said, man, I'm going to go try comedy. I'm going to try comedy. <laughs> I said, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to go with you. Mm. And Travis Curry, and um, so we went to the Lucky Lion in Oakland over near the airport. It was a gong show that was on Soul Beat. Okay. And so Sh Shout out to Linnell. Yeah, shout out to Linnell eating ice. She was the first person to eat ice on air, and she's in the Black Hall of Fame. <laughs> We love you, Linnell. Um, I have still have the Linnell in a two-piece poster in my bedroom. She's, in a two-piece? Yeah, in a two-piece. <laughs> she's arching it. She's, I love Linnell. She's a regular on the show, actually. Yeah, she I comes by Linnell. all the time. Get her a poster. See, a poster's rare and it's signed. She's arching it. <laughs> okay. It's, it's on the 98.5. No, I love that poster. Um, so yeah. the gong, they had a gong show. They had okay. a gong show. Bam. I went up. And I said, uh, my joke was Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson, the same people, because you never seen them at the same place at the same time. Gone. <laughs> but why I got gone, I felt good on the mic. So I said something. I'm like, dang, man, I didn't even get a chance of doing this in this little raggedy piece of place or something. Da, 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 da. It looked like a funeral home. And people laughed. And so my little comment, boom, 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 boom. I like, wow. Mm. I, and I touched that golden mic. And from then, from the Lucky Lion. Well, they used to film porno shows. Went from I went from there. Okay, so you started doing stand ups like on a regular basis, like open mics. Yeah, and started doing like open that. mics. Started doing everything I can. Every time I got on the mic, you know, bam, bam, just around Oakland. You know, I just I did everything. I did yeah. barbecues. I did I did dope dealer spots. I did I did everything. Mm -hmm. I did everything. Barbecues. I did. Uh, my God. And yeah, I did everything. Then we had a hot spot, the Hyatt, the Hyatt uh, in Oakland, California, and that was a that was a hot spot of comedy at that time in the eighties.